This is Keith Fraser for seconds out. I'm here with Carol Atelma. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Exceptional light heavyweight prospect, 5 0, fighting on the 11th of March in the Prospects Night at the York Court. Carol, great to, to meet you. Great to see you doing some work out there in the ring. You're looking good, my friend. Thank you. Yeah, it's always great to, um, to box. And given the conditions we've been in these past year or more than a year, um, some boxers haven't even competed. So for me to get five fights under my belt has been great and I'm grateful for it. Light heavyweight is an interesting division in this country. Anthony Yard, who had a great win over Lyndon Arthur. Joshua Barazzi are two names that, that come to mind. But even, even at, um, well, some would say prospect level, I don't know if you call yourself a prospect anymore, you've had five fights. But uh, Ezra Taylor, I think, is under the banner of Frank Warren. How far can you go in this division? Obviously, you've got a great uh, amateur pedigree as well. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Like In my head, I can go all the way. I believe me and my team are going to go all the way. It's just a matter of time before it comes to fruition. With that being said, I understand that everything's about timing. And I'm not even a man yet. I'm still only 21. We just turned 21 in November. So I've still got a lot of maturing to come, a lot of man strength to come. And when that time comes, um, I'll be ready to take them opportunities. And tell me, what do you think, I mentioned some names in the light heavyweight division. When you look at some of these names, I'm sure you compare yourself to them and think, I can do that better, I can do that better. What are your attributes that people need to look out for? Do you know what? My coach really, um, really installed this kind of boxing stuff in me. Like, yes, power's going to come. Power's there and it's going to come as, as soon as I'm mature. So now it's all about it's all about getting them little fundamentals right, then boxing skills and the boxing ability. Um, being explosive is one of my key attributes. My speed, I believe, is probably my best attribute. And like I said, comparing yourself to some of those names because that, I guess, is what you aspire to be and and more from what you're saying. What is it about them that that is the difference between you? And then, of course, experience and working your way up. But what are the qualities that you think? supersede those guys um, potentially that's a good question I don't really compare myself to anyone in, 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 in that sense like that now obviously I look at the likes of you mentioned Batsy you mentioned Yard yeah they're both great fighters and they're, they are at the world level but with that being said give me five years and I'll be there um, yeah, I can't, I can't really say much more to that. As they say, you've got to enjoy the journey, not necessarily the destination. Five years is a fair amount of time. Do you think that's the kind of uh, time scale you're looking at to get to that level? 2028 or 2020, 2023, uh, British title in my head, and 2026, uh, world title, world level. You've heard it here from the horse's mouth. Listen, this is... A great, exciting prospects night that we're going to we're going to be seeing on the March the 11th, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in your sixth bout. We wish you the best of luck with your career, best of luck for 2022, and thank you very, very much for being with us. This is Keith Fraser for Seconds Out.